for Delaney Hall to get a lot of touches tonight with Schmidt out at wide receiver. Actually, Selena, that will be her number. So, Jessica Salazar having an outstanding season for Atlanta. In fact, she's up for Rookie of the Year honors in the carry. I love watching her play the game. A third and one keeper by Salerno. That was Adrian Purnell coming up from the strong safety position. Purnell not given credit for one of the bigger hitters in the game. We saw a bit of it there. Purnell can hit, and Salerno, she slid. Getting back down to the field, Dakota Hughes. We talked about her comfort level heading into the playoffs. On the field, buying time. A good-looking check down to Lawrence Ziegler. Yeah, I'm going to fuck you the fuck up if you do that shit again. Do that shit again. Do that shit again. Fuck it. Let's introduce you to Ziegler in this offense. Angela Eliason, wide receiver. Lauren Ziegler, wide receiver. Ariana Barton, your tight end. Adrian Purnell, tight end. Dino Jowski, your center. Jesse Locklear, running back. Dakota Hughes, quarterback. Watch how they have Salazar spying on Salerno. Everything she does, she's going to follow. What a tackle by Salazar of opening up the passing game. That is an inside handoff. Adrian Purnell. That'll be an eight-yard carry for the seven-year veteran. Purnell, every time she touches the football, she makes positive gains. In fact, she scores points. You see right there, she has two touchdowns. I asked her if she wants the ball more often. She said it's up to the coaches. She just wants to win, and she'll do whatever they say to do. Purnell is one of the few players in the league that can play both sides of the ball at an all-fantasy level. Plays tight end on offense, and certainly we've seen her. Los Angeles seven-yard line. Hughes back to pass, now rolling left, has a receiver. That is Adrian Purnell. They're going to mark her down at about the one-yard line. One-on-one -on -one inside the red zone. She is an imposing figure going against the defense. They should do this more often. Easy play, a basic out route. She almost got in the end zone. Purnell has made a career on those release plays into the flat, almost getting into the... Dakota Hughes throwing across her body and finding Lauren Ziegler on a tight rope. Dakota Hughes turns it up. Here's the extra point attempt, handoff to Brittany Demery using that load and pushing her way into the end zone. So Atlanta striking first, converting on the extra point. They are up seven to nothing. When Brittany Demery goes vertical, she cannot be brought down. The entire LA defense could not bring her down. We talk about the F-150, Carmen Borso on Los Angeles, but Demery. A little bit of a weird sequence. If you're gonna kill the clock, why not do it early on? They let about 20 seconds marked off the clock. Prior to the snap. Larino back to pass over the middle, nearly intercepted. Dino Wajowski really coming on here. She lost her starting role in the middle linebacker position to Jessica Zalazar, but make it an impact here late in the first half. Wojowski and Salazar, they are Repeat second down. Adrian Purnell being called for the holding penalty. That is one of the better plays of the year. Dakota Hughes having to adjust to that ball sailing over her head, keeping her footing and connecting with Lauren Ziggler. So we were mistaken. Atlanta did have a timeout remaining and choosing to use it there with about five seconds on the clock. Let's go to the L.A. bench. If you see the, uh, the fake dive or whatever. Naja Christmas. Christmas having an all-fantasy type season. Four for the Atlanta offense from the shotgun crossing pattern. And that is complete to Lawrence Ziegler in a bit of a rugby scrum here. After all that, only about a two-yard gain. But what about the concentration from Lauren Ziegler? She is one of the best at catching the football, but I really got to question the throw or the call by Dakota Hughes. Man-to-man with -man, a two-man coverage. She was not open. Time. A first and ten handoff. That's to Jesse Locklear. So the two running backs really delivering for this Atlanta offense. Salazar in this time, Locklear. You really got to like this offensive game plan by Mark White. It's all running game, hardly any passing at all, but they're chewing up the clock. That'll be good enough for an Atlanta first and goal. 
Sometimes I give Hughes a hard time saying she runs like a newborn horse, but she gets yardage. She makes the right read. She always gets yardage down the field. A newborn horse. They're all over the place. If I was Dakota Hughes, that would not. A beast in the backfield. That's when you give her the football. And they're going to go to Demery. Look at the tackle by Lily Granston. And Grant. A third and goal for Dakota Hughes. A high snap. Does manage to hold on to it. And now stretching into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. Now the extra point attempt. This will be a one-point attempt. Brittany Demery right up the middle. Atlanta on top, 14 to nothing. And that'll take us to a media time. So yes, we are seeing a lot of the run attack, mainly by Ashley Salerno. And here we go again. This time, though, Brittany Demery saw it coming. And we've got some pushing and shoving here after the play. Salerno not liking that Brittany Demery just sat on her. Jesus, paper means nothing. But don't tell that to Ashley Salerno, Dakota Hughes, or anybody out on that field. They are playing to win. And that is the extra point. That is good. And guess what, partner? We've got a tied up ball. It's in the A gap, both sides of the center. She doesn't care about pass coverage right now. She wants to shut down the Atlanta running game. Jesse Locklear. When quarterback Dakota Hughes was a rookie in 2014, she earned the nickname the Cardiac Kid, the way she pulled games out. Let's see if she can do it tonight against LA. It'll be interesting. To a second and two now, again to Locklear, cutting inside, getting some great yardage. That was a seven yard carry and good enough for another Atlanta first down. That's a great point you made. Their game plan actually worked. It's the turnovers that are killing them. The running game, they've moved down the field, take time off the clock, score points, but the turnovers got L.A. back in this game. Atlanta's offense is moving the ball, and their real unsung hero thus far has got to be Locklear. Locklear, you're right. Demery early in the game, lately all Locklear. And we've got another penalty. A first and 15 after that five-yard penalty on Eliason. They're going to go again to Locklear. This time only managing two yards. That was Tijuana Anderson on the tackle. The same Ashley Salerno we've seen in the previous seven years. A second and ten ball at the Los Angeles. Bitch ass niggas. I wanna, ooh, I wanna beat their wives up. What do you think ha would happen if I beat their wives up? So cute. I don't give a fuck right now, bro. I wanna fight Shirley Granson. Tell her meet me outside, my nigga, like straight up. Adrian Purnell fired up on that bench. Third and three ball at the 24 of Atlanta. A little crossbuck handoff to Locklear. That'll be enough for a first down. Atlanta will probably call its final timeout here. And Locklear staying down. Not sure if this is an injury timeout or a timeout for Atlanta. That has been their horse all night. She has had a great game. You mentioned all night long doing this, but this is not the time of the game you need to have a cramp. Most of the offense, and specifically the, which will now set up a fourth and 11. What would have been third and 28, now it's fourth and 11. With this offense, that's very makeable. You can't make those mistakes. You've got to force them to make those mistakes. Little basic football. Snap the ball to the quarterback. She throws to a wide open of Fezekai. You win the football game. What happens? They do what Atlanta's been doing the last couple years. They lose in the fourth quarter. It's, be it's best I don't shake hands. Real life, it's best I don't shake hands. You could see the frustration with Adrian Purnell in up and down that Atlanta sideline as we've witnessed another second half collapse by Atlanta. On the other side, you really got to hand it to L.A. I'm going to use